Hi and welcome everybody to uh, another video tutorial. Today I want to talk about uh, Lightroom Mobile on the iPad and more specifically uh, the annoyance that uh, generally it's set up to instigate everything from your PC or your Mac. Um, this is great if you want to work, you know, import your raw files to your PC or your Mac and then have them sync across your iPad and work them, on them on your iPad. But what I want to um, be able to do is be able to go away for three or four days or a week or whatever and not have to take my MacBook with me. I want to leave it home and I just want to travel with my iPad. Now, unfortunately, what we haven't got at the moment is Adobe allowing you to import the RAWs onto your iPad and then put them across and work with the RAWs. Uh, from the fr so sync from the iPad a raw file from the iPad across onto your MacBook. If you put your card into the S into the camera connection kit and open it up, you are pulling across the raw files. The raw files come in to your photo library on your iPad. Now you can't edit those raw files, you can't do anything with them except with some specialist apps. You can certainly cannot get them into Lightroom but you can see them with certain apps and you can then get them across which is what we're going to do. So just bear in mind that when you use the camera connection kit to, to view your SD card you're viewing JPEGs but you are bringing across the raw files and we'll see that in a minute. So the first thing once everything's in, and I'll show you that what I've done is I've brought in my last import is these four files, okay? And I am going to have a look at them and decide which one I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into an app I've got called PhotoSync, which is two forty nine from the App Store. Now, if we go into PhotoSync and we go to Camera Roll, what we will see is up here is the last four that I've imported and you'll see they say raw plus JPEG so they're telling me what I've got here I've got a raw plus JPEG that's perfect that's what I want and what we're essentially going to do is we're going to first and foremost get rid of the ones we don't want so I can view within this environment I can click here and I can click view and I can then tap on them and then I can view them in this environment and I can even flag them and so on within this environment the first one is the only one I want. They're all so similar. So I've bought them in purely because it's very difficult to see them at a decent size on the camera or on the import, import screen. So that's why I've imported them all. But I only want the first one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back to select. And I'm going to select that one, that one, that one. If I hold down, then I can say delete selected. And I'm going to delete those. They're gone. They're gone from the, cam the camera roll. I don't want them. The next thing is that I select this one. And I go in here. Now, we just two selected. The next thing we need is you're going to need something like Dropbox or um, Google Drive or something like that. I've tried it with both. Dropbox is pretty good. I happen to have a lot more room on Google Drive, so I will generally use Google Drive. But for this, for this one, I'm quite happy to demonstrate in Dropbox. You just need to... Um, set up your Dropbox with this app. Put in your credentials and you're good to go. So at this point I'm going to select a folder I've got called Richard's iPad um, and I'm just going to click select there and this is going to transfer. Now this is why you need an internet connection. You can do this across 3G or 4G because we're only doing one file. I've chosen the file that I want to edit and that I want to edit properly within the Lightroom environment. Okay, and we're going to do most of it on the iPad, but it's got to. I want to be doing the RAW, so I've got to get the RAW to my Mac to then use the built-in Lightroom sync to sync it back to my iPad. Okay, so now what we've done is we've uploaded into Dropbox. Brilliant. The next thing we need to do is jump onto the Mac. We've got to get that from Dropbox into Lightroom and then we've got to get it into a, a, a folder that is synced or a collection that is synced with the iPad. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to remote and I'm going to use log me in. So here's my MacBook and I'm going to connect to that. Okay, so we're now in Lightroom. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do import and I'm going to import just the raw file. Okay, and I'm going to do it direct from my Dropbox folder. So if you've got Dropbox installed on your Mac or on your PC, you will have a Dropbox folder which will be in users. And this is a little bit fiddly, you know, but bear in mind what this is for. This is so we can. So we've got Dicky and we've got Dropbox. And we've got Richard's iPad. We get in there, and I'm not sure where it came in, to be honest. So I'm just going to say I'm going to select that and say include subfolders. Okay, there's the files we want to import. So I just want the raw file, which is selected there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click import, and that is going to import it. And there we are. Now. We need to do one last thing now. That's now in Lightroom. That is our raw file in Lightroom. The final thing we need to do is we need to select that file. And this is, like I say, a little bit fiddly, but we need to bring this down so we've got our collections. And I've actually got one called uh, uh, iPad that, if I can, that is synced with my iPad. So we've, I've got a synced collection down here. And I'm just going to drag that file, I'm going to drag this into, I mean you can make another collection or whatever, I'm going to drag it into iPad. Now, that at the moment will be syncing across, so you can see at the top, if we go up here it says syncing one photo, that is now syncing across to my iPad. That appears to have finished syncing, we can go into Lightroom Mobile, this is the one we just brought across, there it is, ready to go. Everything we do now is going to be mirrored with um, Lightroom on the desktop or on the, my MacBook. So I'm going to turn it black and white. I envisioned it black and white right from the start. And I'm just, just going to do some basic stuff here. I'm going to whack the clarity up and I'm going to go... I like a bit of clarity in this kind of thing. So I'm going to go about 19. I'm going to do the contrast. Um, I'm going to up the contrast because I really feel that that's work I'm going to just do the whites to bring those right out and I'm going to do the no, I don't I don't need to do the blacks okay and then I'm going to go to tone curve now this isn't let's bear this in mind this isn't how I want it and I'm just going to try and bring that sky down a little bit Right, there's a very quick edit. The point about this is that is all going to be shared with Lightroom on the desktop. Now, I want to paint in that sky with a brush and then I want to darken just the sky. I cannot do it in Lightroom Mobile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into Log Me In and I'm going to grab myself a brush and I am going to show selected mask overlay and we're going to just pull this around and we're just going to paint in this sky. Okay? So remember we're working over the internet here. Now you've got to be careful because it's not particularly easy. And it's not like working on the on the uh, iPad or the Mac. But you know, as you can see, it's not bad over the internet. Pulling this around, I'm happy with that. What we're going to do is we're going to just take off our show overlay, okay? And we're going to, we know we've got our brush. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so this is easier to grab. And we're going to just bring our exposure down. And I'm going to go quite a, lo quite a, lo quite a long way down. On top of that, I'm going to bring up the clarity in that sky. And once that's finished syncing across, we can jump across into Lightroom. And there we go. There's a way of um, 
editing important into Lightroom on the uh, sorry important importing in the field or when you're away onto your iPad and getting the raw files across and then working on the raw files from your iPad. Final thing to do is we know that that raw file is safe and sound on our Mac. We're working on it. So the final thing to do for me and not just to keep things tidy on my iPad is simply just to go select and just delete this file in my camera roll. I don't need it. I don't want it there. I know that I've got it now in Lightroom and I can tweak away till my heart's content. For me, I would certainly do some more tweaking to this. Um, one of the things I would do is I would go into black and white and I would just have a play with, with this. Bearing in mind, everything I'm doing here is being copied across onto my MacBook. Okay, that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching.